Well, the video for this week is going to be rather brief. Uh, when we arrived today, we discovered that we had been robbed. Um, every single tool that Nathan and I owned was taken. Um, all of our power tools, things, most of our hand tools are in the same containers. So we actually aren't doing a whole lot today other than making itemized lists for an insurance claim. The other problem with this is about a third to two thirds of my father's entire tool collection was here at our property as well. And all that was stolen. On top of that, we had a gator here that was my father's that we had parked around back and they hot wired it and used that as their getaway vehicle. So it's going to be a long day. Unfortunately, this wasn't the first time we've had theft on the property. Back in February, the entire framing crew's supply of tools and their trailer were stolen as well. So this is the second time we've had um, theft of all the tools on site, which is really disconcerting when, you know, we're planning on living here and people just come and go. Um, what was more disturbing about this one is uh, Farmer Nathan was on site when the thieves were as well. We have a capture on the trail cam and you know, timestamp 707 and I was talking to Nathan on the phone about 7.15 as he was pulling into the driveway. So they were hiding somewhere either in our house or in the woods behind our house while Nathan grabbed a few tools to go help his brother Anal and sister with their house project. And it's just a little bit scary to think that you know they were, they were in our house um, that, you know, we want to trust our community around us and we enjoy building friendships in our area. And it's just a little nerve wracking to have people in your space that were not supposed to be here and there could have been intent to harm. Good morning on editing day. I realized that I wasn't super clear in telling this part of the story. Um, we were a bit distracted that day. Um, so we know that the vehicle showed up at 7.07 based on the trail cam timestamp, but what happened after that was Nathan showed up around 7.15 and he found the gate and all the doors to our house open. Originally he thought that, you know, maybe the HVAC crew had left it open when they had left for the day, um, but everything was still there at that time at 7.15. So a car showed up at 7.07, Nathan showed up at 7.15, everything was still there and in place. He checked everything, he bolted all the doors, so he potentially locked the thief in the house. Um, so that makes it like particularly scary that they were like right there near Nathan at some point during all of this. So wanted to edit that for clarity. So we only have one shot of the vehicle on the game cam as they came in because they came in and out really quickly in that particular vehicle, but they left going through our field. You can't see it too well from here, but I'll answer a photo. They went down through our field over there and over to the shack and exited over there. Um, with the amount of gasoline that was in the Gator, they couldn't have gone but you know a handful of miles with it. So it's you know definitely someone that lives in this neighborhood most likely, or they loaded onto a trailer elsewhere. So we unfortunately didn't get any other shots of them in the action, um, or any faces or anything like that. We just have that one photo of the yellow vehicle, and we're hoping that that'll help narrow it down when the criminal investigators do get in contact with us. So that's all we have to share this week. We really didn't get any any projects done. Uh, we are regrouping, we're seeing who we can buy our tools from, trying to get the insurance claim in, and it's just going to take a little bit of time for us to itemize you know, every single tool that we ever owned and try to remember. One of the advantages of being a YouTuber is that we do have video record of pretty much all the tools that we've ever handled, and sometimes in the background we can figure out like what tools that we may have, so it'll help us make our list going back through old videos, but that's what we're going to be spending our time on this week. Uh, we've really appreciated all the support we've had from some of y'all who've commented on our Insta story that we shared when this occurred, and uh, the friends and family that have been offering to loan us their tools and their time. We really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully over the next week we'll be able to get the wind back in our sails and figure out some next steps as far as our house build with borrowed tools. So we'll catch you next time. Another note from editing day. We've had several people reach out to us wanting to know how they can help us and support us. Uh, thankfully we do have insurance on our house build so some of the tools will be able to be replaced with insurance money. But if you've ever filed an insurance claim, you know that it takes a while and you have to fill a lot of paperwork and you have to kind of fight for getting your uh, payment. So it's going to take us a little bit of time. We've had to buy a few tools in the meantime. Um, we're borrowing some from friends and family as needed as well. Um, but if you really do still want to help, 
We do have a link below that goes to a website called Honey Fund, and you can gift us Lowe's and Ace Hardware gift cards if you still want to help us. No pressure or anything like that, because we will get insurance money, but we know several people have offered wanting to assist us, so thought we'd give you that option. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Thank you.